What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I'm Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination, the daily show on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch, and if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and come along the ride with me. Okay, this is the negotiation game. Europe advanced fixed capitals. Uh, auto 60 with a neutral bot. Lines is on. Fog lizard portals are off. And true random dice. So I'm in the third seat playing as red. Green. Okay, so black caps in the east, green caps in Spain, I cap in Prussia. Um, this hopefully gives me a line for Denier Calps turn one. And then we move into Germany um, because we want to be able to take the bonus we've capped in. We will accept a lines request as offered. We got all six players ready up. This is a, a totally different world for negotiation game. People playing to win, people playing well. We taught the world how to do it. So, I don't hate Istanbul for white. I definitely don't hate where black have, because black's, what black's going to do is he's going to take the plus eight, and then he's going to take the bonus he's capped in. A really good choice. Assuming he's good. Yeah, this is why Spain's always a trap, because then you see someone in Gascony in blue. <laughs> blue neighbor caps black. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I could have called that. Yeah. Green might be thinking about rolling that purple four. Yeah. No, green trying to take Spain. Does green overextend? Let's take Spain. All right, so here's hoping we don't get a horrible roll on the two. Yeah, that's okay. We do take Denair Gals turn one and go from there. Seven cap is fine. The white, I figure, goes bottom right and takes uh, Orient. If they take southeastern Europe, that would be better for them, but they don't. Roll 5v2. Decent amount of risk there. They lose nothing. And then you stop. Four. So there's three players in the east. So the way cap positions kind of map out on this board is there's a bit of a power vacuum this way but magenta is going to take that so i am going to be in the middle so the way i win is i have to pay off wars between my opponents if white wants to ally up because i want to take this then probably don't like that but i'm going to do it Okay, blue's fucked because they won't be able to have a bonus. And their chance to roll the black cap was already. But they're not doing that. They're going to break black. They're going to take black maybe under 12. Black's being just targeted by blue for no good reason. We see a Sue out. We're happy. Yeah, if I'm black, I don't know how to play this position, right? It, my intuition would be like try and take the bonus, but then my cap is weak and blue might roll it. If at any time <clears throat> a power vacuum appears out there, I, I can swoop in because my cap will be open on that line. I'd really love to have all of this. Black just quits the game. <laughs> it takes no card. Yeah, Black says, fuck that, I'm not playing. Okay. We get our first bitch quit on the second turn. Smell you later. Ten minutes on the clock for Black. Boy. Uh, green finishes Spain. 
right? In almost every world, we would expect green to finish Spain, but then what? Yeah, Black Black actually actually didn't wait the full 10 minutes. He, he just straight quits. Cool. Black is willing to provide no resistance to Blue, the guy who fucked him, rather than suiciding into that man, which I always find very odd. Someone is going to make you lose the game. Why on earth wouldn't you make them lose too? But what the hell do I know about risk? You have a 10 cap and two plus fours. Does white break? White didn't accept the alliance request. It was blue. He does. It looks like white does break. And white is willing to break both. All right. This usually ends up bad for the guy who starts the war. All right. No bonus troops for Pete. Good for magenta, good for green. And now we're just, just going to take France. I have a second bonus. I have zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at a good roll on that cap, eh? <laughs> If I had extra troops, I could deal with blue, but now I can't because white spent their second turn um, hindering my position instead of advancing their own. So everyone's going to get strong. Except for me, and I have to kind of let that happen. Return to capital. Oh, I should have pulled out the two from Africa. Okay, now white works on Orient. We have cards. We have a dude's trade. Hmm. This guy's willing to break me. Do we suppose we want to let them have a bonus? Okay, you would figure Magenta expands into Iceland, but they don't. There we go. So Magenta's either going to go bad to green or go bad to me. So they go back to green. All right. Cool. Really good for magenta. The only player who can address them would be me, and I'm not going to because white kept me in check. What happens with blue as well? I like blue's position the most, frankly. I think blue is the, the best long-term position. Green gets no card. Unlucky. I don't want to threaten red. I do want to reciprocate. Red can break one of my two bonuses without opening any of my troops. Or he can take his own. All right, so Red's fourth turn is different than their second. 
Their fourth turn, instead of keeping me in check, they're trying to establish their own position. But they're the last guy to take a bonus now because they went bad. So magenta's gone bad to green, white's gone bad to me, stacks on capital. That's going to break me next turn for sure. I need a threat stack here in Dinner Reedies, such that if he opens me in any way, I can reciprocate an attack. I need it to be about the size of his capital. I'm gonna take the bonus on Captain now. Yeah, Magenta should be taking Scandi. Magenta's already gone bad to green. Do they go bad to blue as well? I'm going bad to blue would be very interesting. No, they stay cool on that line, yeah. So what does blue do? Does blue take the plus eight? Does blue break white? Blue breaking white would put a smile on my face, but he's not gonna. I don't think blue sucks. I think blue has benefited though from a uh, <laughs> from a sticky situation. We are absolutely cool. Magenta 61 troops. I don't think anyone addresses. This could just be a snowball for Magenta, but I think letting them, you know, playing my, playing from my position. Oh, do we lose green now? Green also doesn't retaliate on Magenta. He just lays down and takes in the pooper. Wah, you broke my bonus. I'm going to quit. Wah. I'm very surprised we see this as much as we do. At least sue it. Right, don't reward the guy who fucked you. Yep. All right, 10 minutes on the clock for green. Sure. Going extra special slow. Full trust. Yep, yeah, full trust in Magenta. Magenta's like, oh, this guy's gonna enable my bullshit. Figure white breaks here, because I already have. White takes the dude's trick. White could also claim Africa. This is gonna break Magenta now. No, he's gonna take Africa. Okay. Taking Africa is probably the lane of least resistance, but it's very expensive. I'm in a four-player game. Um, I am kind of the second strongest after Magenta. Blue is establishing. Blue is going to be very strong. Um, white is kind of weak because instead of... Uh, Establishing on turn two, they try to keep me in check, and green has already quit, quit like a bitch, so. Four-player game, who is in the best spot, though? I think my cap now, pretty much surrounded. Uh, Magenta might take uh, Italy. Three, four, a fifth bonus, wouldn't shock me. He works on Spain. Magenta seems to know how to play. They chose a bit of a risky Gascony cap, but looks like it pays off, and he goes quick. Goes very quick. White notably also hasn't accepted the alliance request, which I always recommend you guys don't do. Um, did he just check my capital? Um, not accepting the alliance request is a bit of a tell, right? It says a couple of things. It says, I don't want to talk to you, and I don't trust you, and right? I don't want to be able to work with you. All right, I get Italy then, and then we take no cards.
I'm down to holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, blue is holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I'm okay. But I can't really take cards past this point. Blue 6 out of 3. Someone is gonna break break me. So the question is who? Might as well put troops on our capital. Really nice organized board. I'm at 67 troops, Magenta's at 88. Magenta's more than a full turn ahead. White now works on Africa. Okay, blue's expansion options are most likely into white. The reason is white's the weakest. Um, so antagonizing, and I think I'm the least likely. So he might antagonize Magenta, but Magenta's the strongest, so Magenta's the best opportunity to reciprocate. I have, I'm the least likely because I have the biggest front with him. I think Blue's, Blue's card is most likely, if Blue takes one, Blue's card is most likely on white. But let me see if I'm right there. Uh, we do lose green. Green doesn't have to wait the full 10 minutes. Magenta just straight kills him and takes a second capital. Very good play for Magenta, but then where do they go, right? Similar sitch. Um, I'm kind of stuck in the middle between Magenta and Blue, and I kind of have to let whatever happens happen here because I can't afford to counterattack because the other guy just, just teams on me. Um, so does Blue skip? Or does Blue break white? Nope, they break Magenta. Interesting. Do they steal? Do they go full steal or do they just... Just take a card up there. They just take a card up there. I'm specifically not antagonizing white. Keeping somewhat pace with Magenta. Blue also didn't ask me to back him up. Let's see what Magenta does. I have one big 57 cap. All right, Magenta's gonna take all of, or White's gonna take all of Africa. They get the Black Hill. This is early. This is like the second sequence of trade still. Round seven, we have a pretty much organized board. I think going to war with white now might make sense. Maybe not. Yeah, just thinking about what to do. That just seems like a really good player. They yeah, just retake. Raid with blue. Yeah, they put most of their troops on their open cap. Yeah, they break white. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's what I want to see. I want to see white not be strong. Okay. But they also don't give blue a card. They're trying to convince blue to hit white, and blue does. Sick. How does White get out of this mess? 
Keep the ten trade. Send it up blue's ass. That's good for magenta. Still good for magenta. Magenta has a twenty troop lead on me. Blocks blue. Okay, bad for blue, good for magenta. Somehow I'm being allowed to hold, which I probably shouldn't. Magenta steals Africa and breaks. Okay, doesn't fully steal. <laughs> Who's going to win a 28 v 23? Nope. No, they don't. I have to do the minimum here yet again. I'm not trying to antagonize my neighbors. Hundred and sixteen cap. Okay, white pushes further into blue, maybe breaking their plus eight, but opening the capital. They guard on the bottom line? Slightly. <laughs> White's gonna keep um, blue off bonus. How do I establish advantage on magenta? And when? Because my cap isn't truly open to them. It has to go around. But it can easily go around and break most of their shit. The only thing I can't get is Spain. So magenta will always have Spain. And if they're good, they can beat me in a 1v1. Because they have advantage. So somehow I need Magenta to be the one who gets smacked. So how do I pull that off? Now he is pushing his advantage on white, which is good. He's letting me take cards in Africa? No. He says no cards for you either, Pete. <laughs> well, I need cards, man. I'm not going to let you hold everything without giving me a fucking card. Obviously. Let's see if Magenta can accept a steal. Let's learn about their gameplay. I would like that. Do you accept me having that? Let's see how they address that situation. If they, if they accept it, then we can work together. Right? They're still getting 29 a turn. Let me have a plus six. The answer is no. The answer is I'm going to break everything Pete has, or what? I'm so curious how they play this. Take a card. Okay, they're, they, this looks like they're accepting it. Cool. This looks like they're accepting it. That's good. 29 a turn, very strong. Okay. Blue works on magenta. Blue also steals. That's bad for the future of my steal. Good 
gonna put a stack there. But I'm not gonna lock it up. I'm gonna leave like a nominal stack to say, please don't break me. I'm trying to hold Africa. But I'm not threatening you, at least not overtly. I'm threatening you with a roundabout 145, which will absolutely, if you break me, which will absolutely smack you. But I need to not let this guy get too, too far ahead. Okay, white skips. I think Magenta breaks blue up at the top. Maybe they break me in the middle. Excellent. They take the lane of least resistance. Cool. Then they want to trade there. All right. Well, now I'm going to generate more. So now board position is advantageous for me. Blue skips. Yeah, I mean, in an advantageous board, I should skip. So I get 34. Blue gets 29. What happens to white? How does white get out? Well, white punches through me eventually. Magenta getting 24. So we've almost caught up. They're not gonna abide this. They're gonna, they're gonna make a switch. Their 65 cap being open is an advantage too, right? So it does kind of make sense for them to attack off Scotland and not close the 69, the 69 now. But no, Magenta's patient. I think Magenta's an excellent player, I gotta say. I'm a little bit nervous about going to the 1v1 with them. So if I can take them out early, I should. Blue continues to skip, which means I, I can continue to skip or I can trade and I'll trade. Maintain status quo. Blue has two locked capitals. They no longer really do anything, but they are getting a lot. The question is, I, would, I wouldn't, if I'm white, let him have Russia. Don't think Blue realized he hasn't ended his turn. So we get a bit of dead air. As the clock runs. <sighs> it's gonna be coffee time soon. Oh, okay, we could see a territory light up. I'll take a card. I have a 224 cap and I'm in the lead. Okay, hopefully we have a trading pocket there in Africa. Does white abide? Being the weakest player. Magenta not taking a, taking a steal. 278, 262. Still in a slight lead. They're happy to trade there though. Well, this is good for me. Long term, this is really good for me. So I want this board to go forever. You just skip. Keep my open cap stack strong to punch magenta when and if. Maybe I can get in and steal the 69. That actually is the play. Right? If I do ever reach around one, two, like this, we take the 69 cap so we can break speed forever. Having Magenta's troops guard me on this front while allowing the steal is really, really nice for me positionally. I get to hold a plus six that's, that's worth a bunch of territories. Um, and I get, and I don't face pressure on that line from white. This is ideal. 
who breaks me for a card. Oh, he's doing something with that. Sure is breaking a lot of Pete. Okay. So I'm going to leave him with a plus three. Okay. <laughs> he, he understands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to attack your territory. You want to go to war? Why? Why give the game to Magenta? White gives Magenta card. Tax on capital, I like that for white. Take Scandy back. Garden Finland. Strong lead from Magenta, you can swing your dick around a bit. Take Scandy back. Garden Finland, or Garden St. Petersburg, right? Just keep this fucking guy right off. I've asked Magenta for something. I mean, I've already taken something from them, so maybe they feel like I'm asking for too much. But I do see this as a good play. All right, well, I'll just obliterate my troops into you then. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. Who's gonna hit me again? Sure. Who wants to team on me with Magenta? Interesting. Oh fuck. Never mind. <laughs> All right, never mind. Nice try, Magenta. Now white hits blue while Magenta hits me. They still have too many troops. White can get their cap back, right? I think Magenta's a good player, so they weren't expecting me to hit them so hard. I'm gonna break everything I have. Which you should do, right? You should leverage your positional advantage. 
could kill white. Doesn't take the 20, but does take the 10 back. Yeah, bad roll. Let's keep beating. I don't think anyone hits this guy. There's blue to here. Nothing? Nothing would very much surprise me. Well, something is up. Hmm. Okay, blue is disconnected. Pushing magenta. Make you die too. Okay, white reestablishes their position. That looks like white wins this game. <laughs> well, it depends. Magenta might just kill me. I don't think white has the ability to stop them once they do. Yeah, so here's the winning position, right? So Magenta kills me and then wins a heads up with white. And if it goes under the 10 minutes, then blue might get a placement. So the correct thing to do is to skip, right? But Magenta's not placing troops. Hmm. Okay. Well, letting me hold that would be very, very, very bad for you. Having blue and magenta go dead here is bizarre. You would never expect to see that. So something is up. Um, I'll take the wins as they come, but definitely don't want to win this way. Turn draft, yeah. They've not gone offline. We see scumbag bot out in neutral bot, but you never know. <laughs> The best thing I can do is play slowly. He says as he clicks as fast as he can. <laughs> but I don't need to antagonize white. We're about the same. Let's see if these guys stay disconnected. We have a 10 set in the kitty. Magenta hasn't technically disconnected. My hope here is that white doesn't break me and they take all of Africa. 
Mm. Or that, or play slow and not expand. Yeah, let me hold a ton of board. Stay off, stay off, stay off, stay off, stay off. I threw these come guys come back. It'll be the most scumbaggiest scumbag shit you ever seen. No, nope. hey man, we'll take it. We will take it. This will contribute to Blue's clock going dead. Come on, game. Okay. This is 10 minutes on the clock for Magenta. We're now a 1v1. All right. So my move is to press white or equal. So having initiative is the play. But then Magenta comes back, right? Let's reduce the troop number White has. So they can't counterattack effectively. 51 to 93. Good game. After all that, what a weird way to go. Now it should break me a bunch, but he isn't as fast. He's half the troops. Slam the 13 cap. Nope. Let me hold too much, dude. Ooh, no. That's a step off. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't want to give you lowest weight. I want to give these guys lowest, frankly, in the order in which they quit. This game is ending. Oh, White has surrendered. They gave themselves fourth. We win. Looks like we win this game. All right, so now I'm going to pressure Magenta because I see them as being the one who's most likely to come back. Take some France. Okay, let's just, we're just in cleanup mode now. Clean up the board. Um, a question from, hello. Oh, hi. Hey, Pete, I love your videos. I have a question regarding a meta settings game on your second channel. Um, oh, we're going into great, great depth. Okay. So we're gonna watch, we're gonna use the, the timestamps. We're gonna discuss in great detail this question. And I hope you guys are ready. Um, to rock. Are you ready to rock? Just continue the cleanup. Let's get the get the dubs on the record. I could give Magenta a lower placement. Nope, not anymore. That is 10 minutes on clock for blue. Cool. All right. Well, you know, again, not the way I'd love to win, but we did. So there's that. Don't know that Magenta could come back at this point. We 
we say goodbye to white. At 29.36 into the video, you kill Black, as it would have been too devastating to let him live as yellow opened him, I assume. My question is if the Fallen would have given you a chance to win. Uh, take back Europe without opening his cap. What do you mean Europe? The whole map is Europe. Europe! Uh, put enough troops on your caps to make his generation too small to take any of your caps. Take Western Africa and Spain. Break Northern Africa without opening the restack. Hope for a set on four ca cards of cap run in case he doesn't have troops on the Orient cap. What are your thoughts on this? I saw this play as the best line from the moment you kill black as yellow is on two cards. You vision the grease stack earlier. Let's find out. We will be consulting the videotape. We get the blue kill. 85? It's gotta be close. It's gotta be close. Also super curious about the ranks in this game. I think Magenta was good. I think he got some kind of disconnect or glitch or something by the looks of things. Weird way to have it all, all fall like that. But we take it home. As we often do, folks. We went 30 troops positive on that final game. No, we went, we went 30 troops negative. Good. I, I saw the numbers in the wrong way. Don't go positive on cap rolls, please. Please! Okay, Magenta could be a master. Yeah, yeah. So is Green! Ooh! Oh, okay. So defeating one novice in blue. Interesting. Um, one beginner in black, one intermediate in white, and two masters, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. All right, let's queue up this video clip. All right, folks, we've got Pete. And we got repeat. And uh, we're going to consult the videotape for this scenario. So this is a three player scenario. Europe. Advanced Progressive Capitals. The bottom of the map is yellow. So yellow controlling Spain, North Africa, Africa, Orient, and Southeastern. We appear to be reasonably cool. And I think black has been kind of pressuring me, but uh, as you can see, their days are numbered. Right? Nice. All right. Hide in your hole then. Okay. So black is on four cards. 37 for yellow. And goes for the black kill. Yellow doesn't Say, know that. Please take it. So they go for yes, the kill. Take it. Yes. They don't quite have a roll on that capital. Make him die. So they don't roll it. Make him fucking die. But they take the rest. They also open up a 93 cap in the process. Holding. Letting me hold. Yellow. Uh, plus eight, Holds plus four. That's the kill. And. Plus seven. No, he went around. He opened. So I have enough troops to kill black. Killing. All right, now I have to kill. And we going in, baby. Or else I die. 117. Sorry, what's the roll? 117 v 51. So 117 v 51, we lose 102 on a 51 cap. We lose exactly double. Um, could I have slidered 117 v 51? Yeah. Yeah. I could have probably slidered that to rig the dice slightly better in my favor. Um, so we get a particularly bad roll, which should be more normal, but uh, because the dice are broken, it isn't. We do get the black kill, which sets us. Sick. All right. So bad dice on the roll. Cool. Set is... 65. Yeah, we go slightly negative on that kill. Positionally, we're good. Troop-wise, we're not. 
And we put some troops on our capitals. We set up to break. And we open a massive Ooh, stack, which is, cap. which is an error. We should not have opened that stack. All right, so, so that's two mistakes now. We get a bad roll. Obviously, you're getting good dice. Yeah, we're definitely losing. Good. And now we open their capital because we were of the opinion that if their stack was here, perhaps they had no troops on their capital, which also isn't true. So we don't get in. We see that uh, yellow has almost as many troops as we do. Um, we have the whole board. They picked up fairly shitty caps. We've we've agreed that they're not the best player. So what what would I do here? Um, from this position, it's possible to lose the game. Um, from this position, I would put the twenty on France, probably. Maybe, nah, not Iceland. Either put the twenty on France or put the twenty on my twenty six. But I don't think so because then that just gets slammed anyways, and I lose the game because there's a 119 open to that capital. So let's see what yellow, how yellow plays it. Put it in France, right? Yeah, France is better. Having, having stacks on more capitals right now is enough. fine. I'm on four cards. So I should be fine, right? I should be, whatever he does, I should be able to set and counter attack. Use the big stack. He doesn't want to, right? set right we do not we do not have a set have on, a four. Set on okay. four okay so we've gotten again we've this gotten we've played this fatal, folks. we've played this I wrong didn't... twice we played this wrong in the sense that we got bad luck uh rolling the capital we played this wrong in the sense that we got bad luck in the sets so now we lose right go around with the eight please lock your stack up or some shit yellow did great man me and yellow homies first and second that feels fucking great good game man no set on four here is death Ooh, split wrong okay splits there doesn't taste okay, so 26 he just has too much of the board. Yeah, because I can't reciprocate because I don't have cards. I the capital. Once I so I, I went negative on so a kill and yeah, subsequently yeah, didn't have a set. Oh man, if only I had a set here. Fook. Yeah, if I just said I, I, if I just said I win this if game. Only, right. Said, yeah, that's it. Let's see. Right, that's so go back there to Greece. It's actually a much less interesting scenario yes, than uh, than I was hoping it would better. be. Good job. Right. I lose better next turn because I don't have cards on four. Yeah, you just try and break as much of him as he can, but he can cap on me. Unless he fucks up horribly. Good game, yeah, 43. Man. He knows where the caps are. Yeah, no set on four. He's got a set on three. He's got a set on three. Oh, okay. So I, 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 get, I get three times unlucky. Um, he also has a set on three. So your questions are, take back Europe without opening his cap. Yeah. Put enough troops on your cap to make his generation too small. Well, none of that fixes not having a set on four. Take Western Africa and Spain, break Northern Africa without opening the Greece stack. Yeah, not opening the Greece stack was 100%. Opening the Greece stack was was terrible, um, but I didn't know it was there. Hope for a set on four to cap run. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a set on four. Um, what are your thoughts on this? I saw this play as the best line from the moment you killed Black Hills on two cards. You had vision on the Greece stack earlier. I feel like I'm missing what you're saying. So the outcome of this game was um, a compounding of multiple different types of bad luck um and that's all it takes edit you did also get unlucky during the video well i mean that's the crucial <laughs> that's the crucial uh difference yeah i don't think i understand your questions so opening the stack in greece if i knew that there was a hundred stack in greece i wouldn't have opened it um i did know where his capital was um and other than that, yeah, with normal luck, we win that game. So sometimes you get unlucky. Could have played that differently. Could have got better luck. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and come along the ride with me. The daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.